Good morning, YouTube. I am, it is 6.30 a.m. and I am up. I made my bed, so I'm not getting back in it. And I make my bed because I am an introvert and I love my bed, y'all. I love staying at home. But when I make up my bed, I'm not getting back in that thing. So I made my bed, so I guess I'm going to be productive today. I got some breakfast. My mommy bought me, my mommy bought me some breakfast, and um, I'm going to take a shower. And, oh yeah, I'm vlogging this week. So me and my friend Jessica, um, we are headed to a conference that she invited me to, and it's in Pensacola, Florida. Um, and with that being said, Jessica talks about this conference. Um, she's gone, I don't know how many times before, maybe two or three times before, Um and she invited me before last year or the year before that. She invited me before. And I was just like, nah, you know, I don't want to go. Um, but I don't know why. Uh, I don't know why. But this time is different. I'm like super excited to go. So you guys are going to be seeing her later on today. And um, just I'm going to be vlogging my experience. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited. God, um share with me like just something so simple about the conference and he was like it's gonna be good for you and I was like okay like I'm really excited whatever it is it's gonna be good for me so let's see I'm gonna get my day started and put on some clothes and I organize I straighten my room up like move some stuff around all this different stuff so and I did that late last night like I probably didn't go to bed until a little bit after midnight and the fact that I am um up yes got some more work to do which i actually do so i'm gonna be productive today and i will see you guys in a little bit all right you guys so time is slipping away from me it is 8 15 8 16 17 18 around there um and i haven't eaten breakfast yet took my shower i actually went ahead and put on some clothes i have on my friend's t-shirt called one of one Sorry, it's kind of wrinkly. Um, but anyways, one of one, her name is Paris, and um, my friend's name is Paris, and her organization is called The Warrior Effect, and so she created this t-shirt called One of One, and it and in the handprint, I don't know if you guys noticed that, but that's a fingerprint, and in the fingerprint, it has words um, that God has spoken over us to remind us that we are one of one, that we're chosen, part of our royal priesthood. And just to add some more for me, I like this shirt because it reminds me that I can be different. It, I enjoy being different. I can celebrate my differences and quirkiness and weird ways. So I am one of one. That's just a little pill right there. I'm finna eat and maybe I will be productive after I'm done eating. It is 216 and I'm here with Jessica and we are coordinating with Red. We did not plan it, but we are in sync, even though she just turned off the sink off of the <laughs> air conditioner. But we are headed to Florida. Did I already say the time, 2.16? You did. Okay, We're headed to Florida, and um, Jessica's really excited. She I'm are super excited. She already feels something in her knower. She feels, she's sensing something. So, I'm excited too. I just got, I think I was so excited this morning that I'm chilled. But once we get back there, I will be back excited. So, and she's already covered us under the blood with safe travels. So yeah, we are headed to Pensacola. Pensacola, baby. Where she loves now, but hated before. I, I hated while I was living there. <laughs> I love being a foreigner of Pensacola, but I yeah. did not like being a resident. Yes, 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 yes. So we are going back there and she's actually getting to reunite with a lot of her friends and old church members. So she's double excited about that. Quadruple quadruple excited because you're getting to meet them oh yes and because i get to meet them and they're excited to meet me and i'm excited to meet them so that's gonna be fun i've heard a lot of great things about them so they were taking care of the baby while we could be there <laughs> <laughs> so we will um 
I guess I'll get back on here um, once we get to the hotel. We made it to Pensacola safely and we are at the hotel. Jessica did so good driving. She always does good driving. Yeah, I'm the driver. Baby girl, don't do this now. Don't do this now. Don't, don't tell they prophecy. Yeah! At that point, that's not a prophecy. That's just a word of knowledge. That's a word of knowledge. Okay. Um, but yes. And what are we about to do, Jessica? We are about to go to the room, gather ourselves, because it's 7 o'clock. Is going down, and it is 5:23. Period. Alrighty. All right, we're here. It's 6:56, and finished our. And Jessica is excited because she's seeing her friends again, and I'm ready. How many of you know we need to focus like never before? Alrighty, we're back in the hotel, and. I'm really sweaty and oily. I'm not sure why. But tonight was really good. Um, the teaching was about focus. I think I I will add that into the video. Um, so it was really good teaching. I enjoyed it. I'm excited for tomorrow. Um, I got some good stuff during worship from God, like insight. And I feel like I need to how do you say? Hmm. I've been using press in a lot today, but I feel like I need to press in into the message. Jessica, how was tonight? <laughs> tonight was great. I just got to do my hair. I got um, a great word from God and um, I'm excited. You can see I'm happy. I am. And this is genuine happy. It was good to see everybody. And I'm so glad that Brie came because it's it's time to focus. Get away from our lot. So. Oh, yeah. So the message was about um, Abraham and Lot and then how a lot um, Abraham in the Bible had to um, that that after Lot left, that's when God spoke to Abraham. And it was talking about like getting your lots out. Um, of your life and I guess my struggle right now is figuring out oh get lost out of your life and focus I'm trying to figure out what is my lot so but once I find that I think that'll be better but yeah I feel like I look tired like I feel like I look a mess is what I'm really trying to say but um then I'm excited for tomorrow because I think it's just gonna go to the next level for me so whatever insight there is i'm ready to receive but tonight was good i enjoyed it i don't know if your friends think i think tonight we're scared yeah okay so jessica go ahead before my camera so brie like met all my friends he called her friends <laughs> and she said well they probably think i enjoyed it no like the atmosphere is so different down here for me and it's like a lot like so it's high energy it's my energy Bree is not that it's not that the atmosphere it's just I haven't been in that type of atmosphere in a while like the last time I was in that type of atmosphere that consistent type of worship style was when I was back at UA at Daystar Daystar okay so that was like my first time ever being in the atmosphere like that when I came to Pensacola mm, okay. so like you really have so it is 10 3 a.m. I'm not sure how much this video is gonna record just because my storage um filled up on me yesterday so and I'm trying to um what do you call it clear it up now but Good morning. Great morning. And we are headed to get some Dunkin' Donuts. And then we are headed to the church. And um, yeah, so that's why last night's video is kind of cut off. But hopefully we can clear up some more storage. Ding. And we are ready for day two. Two, bud. Two. <laughs> Um, 
Where are we at, Jessica? We're we're at Fish House. It's so good. And Jessica has introduced me to Amber. Haley. This is Haley. Oh, Haley. Amber's coming. Amber's coming. Amber's coming. What? Amber's coming. What? Amber's coming. What? It's two for yes. her. It's two Ambers. Yes. One Haley. A Faye. Yes. Um, <laughs> Haley sings on the praise team. She does. Yes. Who else? Um, Reba. Yeah. I met Reba. Reba. Sorry. We have met a lot of people, so that's, yeah, it's a lot of people. <laughs> I was like so confident. This is Amber. <laughs> but where are we at? The fish house. The fish house. Oh wow! And it, I smell um, hush puppies, and um, I don't even like hush puppies because they smell so good. The food here is bomb. Yes. Like it's it's bomb. The food here. The grand to yaya. Oh yeah. yes. Okay. That's like one of the famous ones. Yeah, it's really good. Grits and Yaya. Yeah, yeah it's almost like, it's basically shrimp and grits, pretty much. Yeah. Oh, that's what I'm gonna get. It's really good. Shrimp and grits. Sorry, you guys, I look rough. I kind of don't care. We just, we just got out of um, the first session of today. Yeah. It was good. But yeah. <laughs> oh. Yes. I said, next time I can't be up there one day. Yeah. Because when we were talking about when he's coming on the machine, I go back. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know yet, but whatever I get, I'm going to take it today. Okay. There's someone ugly. You're calling me somebody about you. You're like 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 somebody about you. <laughs> Alrighty, so hey everyone. I am I've made it back home. It's like 8 20, I think the time is. Um and so I just wanted to do like just talk a little bit about my um experience this weekend in Pensacola at the Stronger Conference with the Church Jubilee. Um, the conference was great. It was really awesome. First of all, I let me just tell you in the video, y'all, like there's so many clips. I know I look a mess. Like even now I look a mess. Um, but my mindset this weekend was interesting. How I was acting um, was somewhat interesting to me, even though it shouldn't have been. It was, y'all, I just took a shower I'm in my PJs. Um, but, so, first of all, I didn't bring, didn't pack an inch of makeup, an ounce, an ounce of makeup, um, no lashes, nothing. Um, I was just like in the moment, most of my clothes were not cute clothes. And then the stuff that was cute, I kind of just threw it together. Like it, I wasn't, I was not trying this weekend. Okay, is what I'm trying to tell you. I was not trying at all this weekend with my looks and it obviously shows in the video and i'm okay with that um and i was okay with it all this weekend um what i really wanted to say is just like um god was downloading so much into me and i didn't even like share it with jessica um i i just it was, it was just so much um one of the girls Haley, actually um on I think it was day two yeah it was day two she came up to me and she was just you know just released a word into my life and um a part of what she was saying is that like you know God was going to bring some things up from my past and um and it was going to be like for me to heal from it he was bringing it up for me to heal from it. and I told her like that's confirmation because God had spoken that to me I think at the beginning of this month or last month where he was saying, you know, I'm going to exactly that, bring up some things in, in your past that for me, he said, I'm going to bring some things up in your past where you thought didn't really have a significant impact on you, but it actually did. Um, ooh, okay. And so literally that after she released that word later on that day, because that was in the morning session, day two in the morning session where she released that later on that day. Um, when there was like a middle break during lunchtime, went to the hotel, we took a nap. That, like during that moment at the hotel, God like brought up some stuff. It was just, I was just like, 
it was just God it was, it was, it, this weekend was a lot. It was good, but it was a lot. Um, and I feel like God, um, because this weekend was so much and because he showed so much and because he, I felt like he downloaded so much into me, I almost sense that he wants me to go into this upcoming week into just like a, a deeper level of consecration with him. So I'm gonna just obey what I'm sensing and just consecrate myself unto him um, for a few days. That sounds bad, but yeah. <laughs> um, and just kind of work through everything that was released on this weekend. So that should be interesting um but i'll tell you this this whole journey of wholeness and wellness and healing and holiness and all of that it is the journey to wholeness is not always beautiful i'm learning that um so yeah i gotta deal with some stuff but i don't have to do it by myself god is with me i have friends um, around me that are so supportive so I don't have to do this alone so I just need to remember that sorry y'all um I do this all day all day y'all see these I do this all day don't bother me um what else I was gonna say oh yeah how I was acting so like I forget sometimes that I'm a true introvert um I should not have done that because I'm gonna play with my hair the whole video no 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 I'll just cut that afterwards um oh, my elbow is ashy but I know I just got out of the shower dub anyways so I was this whole weekend I was acting like the true introvert that I am. Sometimes I forget that I'm I am an introvert and I, I I forget it because I have so many extrovert characteristics, but I am a true introvert. Um and this weekend it really showed and I think with the combination of what God was releasing on me, how heavy it was and the combination of Jessica's excitement, cause y'all, Jessica was so, <laughs> Jessica, <laughs> Jessica was so excited this weekend. And I don't think I rained on her parade. I hope I didn't. I, I think she still enjoyed, I think she still enjoyed herself as she should. Um, But I, I <laughs> she was excited. It was a combination of crowds and you know like introverts like we're not I mean, that's a big one we're not a fan of crowds and all that stuff not all the time but like I said I'm an extrovert so there's times where I like I'm okay with crowds and I can do with it like definitely deal with it but I think it was more so the combination of what God was doing um and it was just like this weekend there was it was good like God said it was gonna be it was good for me but honestly there were some moments where i was just like lord like is this a good weekend because like the stuff you show me and the stuff i gotta deal with and the stuff you want me to heal from i'm like ooh child i just wanted to show y'all that i was like ooh child like is this a good weekend but no truth it it was a great weekend i um this this is the process of healing god said october was going to be a month of wellness and wholeness for me and he is sticking to that right he is sticking to that and like i said this journey to wholeness this journey to wellness is not beautiful but god is gonna do what he said he's gonna do um and so i'm along for the ride but yeah i i hope i'm explaining what i'm trying to explain i was acting like a true introvert like there was a moment jessica said you were very observant this weekend and i was like there was uh we were sitting at a table for dinner or for lunch and i I said stuff, but not that much. I was I was a true introvert this weekend. Um, so that was interesting. And the whole time in my mind, I'm like thinking like, I hope these people don't think like I'm rude or like not friendly or all these other stuff, which I'm sure they probably did. But if you guys watch this video, this is, that is not my personality at all times. Okay, I apologize. I'm more of a bubbly person, but yeah but yeah that's it y'all i just wanted to kind of do like a recap and let you guys know um 
how this weekend really was for me and what God was doing in me and how I actually did enjoy it. Oh, one more thing. Okay, y'all. So the theme of the um, conference was the focus, right? And so um, at the beginning of, not the beginning of this year, maybe like in February, March, um, God said that my scripture to hold on to for this year, the next three years, um, should be Matthew 6.33, which is seek first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. Y'all, they, that might as well have been the, um, the theme scripture for this conference. They said Matthew 6.33 so many times. I was just like, pew, pew. They talked about what God is dealing with me with when it comes to wellness, wholeness, holiness. They talked about holiness and wholeness so much. Even the songs like were wholeness and holiness. Like it was just, I was just like, I'm supposed to be here at the end of the day. Like no matter how I'm feeling, no matter what God is downloading, I'm just like, Lord, it's a lot. I'm supposed to be here. Um, so that was good but it was just like dang like it, it helped me to look at the scripture matthew 60 matthew 6 33 in a whole different light um because it almost like allowed me to like interchange where i see the word seek i could put the word focus so focus on the kingdom of god and all its righteousness and all these things will be added unto you so yeah so yeah y'all that's it <laughs> i say so yeah a lot but I'm tired. I wish I had tomorrow off so I could just lay in bed and kind of just soak in the presence of God and be like, what was that? What was that? But I can't, so I won't. And um, I'm just gonna sleep. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna sleep and rest and chill and, and just vibe. And then tomorrow I'll just meditate and um, cry in the presence of God, I'm, I'm telling you now. But yeah, I'm so thankful. Thank you, Jessica, for inviting me to Stronger. I hope that I'm able to make it next year. Um, yeah, because it was good and it was good for me. And Lamentations 325 says, the Lord is good to those that wait for him, to the soul that seeks him. So I thank you, Lord. I don't know why I just shifted into a whole prayer, but I thank you, Lord, <laughs> for being so good um, to those that wait for you and to this little soul that seeks you. Thank you. All right, you guys, that's it. I hope this video was interesting. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I like doing vlogs. They're super easy to do, so I like doing them. Um, and so, yeah, like, comment, and subscribe, and, um, bye, y'all. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Bye.